Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a puncho style crochet top. I have three written patterns, include this woman sizes, extra small, go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use Yarn Art Ideal. This is number two spot weight yarn, 100% cotton. The color code is 225. In each ball, it has 185 yards. For size small, I use about 900 yards. I have a little bit left on the fifth ball. You can find this yarn on Etsy. I'm gonna put the link to the shop in the description below. And I use 4mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, 4 stitch markers. For this crochet top pattern, we're gonna make in two separate pieces. Make exactly the same, okay? And after we have two pieces, we're gonna lay them like this and we're gonna sew the shoulder seam. And after that, we fold it in half and we're gonna sew the side seam. And then we're gonna crochet around the armhole edges and we are done. It's super easy. The measurement for size small, which is the one that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, it is 33.75 inches width, a cloth, and then 15.5 inches length. All right, let's get started. For this pattern is in a multiple of four chains. And the uh, chain when we start is gonna be the width across the top, okay? So first I make slip knot. I gonna make 136 chains. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure to make your chain loosely and I will be back when I have a total of 136 chains. I have 136 chains. Row one is gonna be the right side for an odd number row gonna be the right side. I gonna skip three chain and that is gonna count as one double crochet. So skip one, skip two and skip three. And then into the next chain I gonna make two double crochet. So includes the first three chain that we skip, we have three stitches here. And then chain one, skip three chains, one, two, and three. And into the next chain, we're going to make three double crochet. One, two, three. And we're going to repeat this across chain one. Skip three chains. One, two, three. Into the next chain, make three double crochet. Repeat, chain one, skip three chains. One, two, three. Into the next chain, make three double crochet. Okay, you're gonna repeat this across. You're gonna chain one, skip three chain, and then make three double crochet into the next chain. Keep repeating that, and I will be back when I'm at the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one. Here's what this look like. And I have a total of 135 stitches across, includes the chain one spaces. Okay, row two, 
chain four. One, two, three, four, and turn. The first three chains count as one double crochet. And the fourth chain there count as one chain space. And then into this one chain space, we're gonna make three double crochet. Right here. Here's one, two, three. And then chain one. Into the next chain one space, make three double crochet. One, two, three. And repeat, chain one. Three double crochet into the next chain one space. And repeat, chain one. 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space. Okay, you're gonna keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end row 2. Okay. We're gonna end with chain one and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the third chain on the first row that we make right here. So after we chain one, we make double crochet into the third chain here. And here's what it looks like. At the end of row two, I have the same 135 stitches across includes the chain spaces. Row three, chain three. And turn the first three chains. Always count as one double crochet. Into that first chain one space, we're gonna make two double crochet. Chain one, three double crochet into the next chain one space. We're gonna repeating this across with chain one and then three double crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat chain one, three double crochet into the next chain one space. And repeat chain one, three double crochet into the next chain one space. Keep repeating this across. So for the last three double crochet, we're going to make right here. Remember, at the beginning of the previous row, we start with four chain. And in the fourth chain, it's count as one chain space. So that space, we're going to make the last three double crochet there. Here's one, two, three, like this. At the end of row three, I have the same. 135 stitches across includes the chain one spaces. For row four, we're gonna repeat row two. We chain four and turn. The first three chain count as one double crochet and then the fourth chain there count as one chain space. And then we're gonna make three double crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, three double crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat, chain one, three double crochet into the next chain one space. Make exactly the same as row two. All right, keep repeating this and I will be back when I'm at the end of row four.
Okay, we're gonna end the row with one double crochet into the third chain from the previous row here. Okay, but you're gonna chain one first. So I chain one here and then make the last double crochet into the third chain right here. At the end of row 4, I have the same 135 stitches across, include the chain spaces. For row 5, we're gonna repeat row 3. We chain 3. That is count as one double crochet and turn. And then into that first chain space, we're gonna make two double crochet. And then chain 1. 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space repeat chain 1 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space repeat chain 1 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space keep repeating this across Okay, we're gonna end with three double crochet right at this last space. Here's what it looks like at the end of row five. And I have the same 135 stitches across, includes the chain spaces. For row six, chain three count as one double crochet and turn and then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch and into each chain space across so after I chain three and turn I'm gonna make double crochet into the next stitch here double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into this chain one space double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next chain one space double crochet into the next stitch all right keep doing this across for the last stitch you're gonna make into the third chain. Don't forget that, okay? It's really easy to miss. So yeah, I'm gonna make the last double crochet into the third chain here. At the end of row six, I have the same. 135 stitches across. For row seven, chain three, count as one double crochet and turn. And we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. It's gonna be very easy from now on. So double crochet into the next stitch here. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. Keep doing this across. Again, don't forget to make the last double crochet into the third chain. Right here. Alright, at the end of row 7, I have the same. 135 stitches across. And for row 8 to row 31, I'm gonna repeat row 7. And every row, you're gonna have the same amount of these stitches. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 8. We chain three and turn the first three chains. Always count as one double crochet. And we're gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And we're just gonna keep making one double crochet into each stitch across. Just repeat row seven. It's gonna be very easy. All right. I'm going to keep repeating row 7 until I reach the end of row 31 and I will be back. If you want shorter top, make less row. If you want a longer top, make more row. Just repeat row 7.
All right, I will be back soon. I'm at the end of row 31 here. It's pretty big. And I'm gonna cut the yarn, leave about 18 to 20 in this long tail. And we're gonna use this tail to sew the side of the top together. So, and then pull the yarn out. And I'm done with the panel. You need two of these panels exactly the same, okay? After you have two panels, I'm gonna show you how to sew them together. Okay, next. We're gonna sew the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam. And it doesn't matter which panel you choose to be the back panel or the front panel because they are the same. So we place them wrong side up. We're gonna sew on the wrong side and we place uh, row one on each panel together. I'm gonna sew 37 stitches together. This is depend on how you want your neckline to be. If you want wider, you sew less stitches. If you want smaller neckline, you sew more stitches. But both sides have to be the same amount of these stitches. I went ahead and sew one side here. As you can see, this is the shoulder. So this is gonna be my neckline. And this is gonna be another shoulder that I'm gonna show you how I sew. To start sew, I cut a new strand of yarn about 16 inches long. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and insert my needle into that first stitch on the front panel and then insert into the first stitch on the back panel there. Bring it up and then sew into the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn. And then insert into the next stitch here right here and right here this is the chain when we start and then next stitch here i can say next chain yeah <laughs> and then next chain here make sure don't sew too tight or too loose next chain here next chain there bring it up Next chain here, next chain there. Like that, that's what I'm gonna sew back and forth. You can use any method you prefer to sew. And yeah, I'm gonna keep sewing until I reach the stitch marker here, which is 37 stitches. And the last stitch here, I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then sew into the last stitch. And here's what it looks like on the wrong side. And here is the right side. Okay, next you're gonna weave all the ends. Both shoulders sew exactly the same. After you have your shoulders sewn, come back and I will show you how to sew the side seam. Okay, after I sew the shoulder seam, I fold the top in half like this with the right side facing each other and we're gonna sew on the wrong side at the side seam, okay? And here's what it looks like. I already went ahead and sew one side here. And I'm gonna sew up to 15 rows from the bottom up and I leave 16 rows for the armhole opening. This is depend on how you like it to fit as well. If you want smaller armhole, you sew more rows. If you want bigger armhole, you sew less row. And we're gonna use the tail that we left earlier to sew. We're gonna turn this way. Again, we sew on the wrong side. And you can use any method you prefer to sew. I already insert my tail into my yarn needle and I'm gonna start sewing. Okay, I insert my needle into the first stitch here at the corner. I will say this is the front panel and then first stitch there on the back panel where the tail come from, right there. And then bring it up. And then next stitch here, next stitch there. 
it's a little difficult to see where is the stitches that we're gonna insert the needle into because we sew into the end of each row. You can guess where you're gonna insert the needle into, but just make sure that both sides are nice and even and lining up. Okay, <laughs> next stitch here, next stitch there, and then bring it up, and then next stitch here, Next stitch there, bring it up, and next stitch here, next stitch there, bring it up, next stitch here, and next stitch there. Okay, I'm gonna keep sewing all the way up until I reach the stitch marker, which is 15 rows total, and I will be back. Okay, now I reach the stitch marker here, and then I just gonna weave the end. All right, both sides sew exactly the same. And next, I'm gonna crochet around the armhole edges. To crochet around the armhole edges, you need to turn the top right side out, Right now, my top is right side out and I already crochet one side here. All right, I'll show you how to crochet on this side. Bring the new yarn and I'm gonna add a new yarn into this corner, the armpit corner. Bring the new yarn, hold it on the back, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and chain one. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch. Into that same stitch, I'm gonna make single crochet. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is a single crochet. And then we're gonna crochet into the end of each row around the armhole edge, and I call that space instead. Into the first space here, I'm gonna make double crochet. Then I'm gonna make pickle. For the pickle, we chain three. And then make one slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the front chain that we make right here. Here is the first chain. Here is the little bump on the back of the first chain. Okay, I'm gonna make slip stitch there. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. That is a slip stitch. And then into the same space, I'm gonna make one more double crochet. Like this. And we're gonna repeat this into each space around. Next space here, make double crochet. And then make picot. We chain three. One, two, three. And then make one slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we made, which is right here. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. Here's what it looks like so far. And repeat, next space, make double crochet. And then make pico. We chain three, slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we made. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. Repeat, double crochet into the next space. Make pico, we chain three, and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we made. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this around the armhole edge, and I will be back when I'm at the end. Okay, I crochet around my armhole edge. And we're gonna finish with slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made right here. So insert the hook, 
yarn over for our loop and put through. And then cut the yarn and weep the end. And I'm gonna weep the end later. Both sides crochet exactly the same. And yeah, just go ahead and weep all the ends and you are done. It's very cute. I hope you enjoy making this very easy and cute top. If you enjoy watching this video, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at Addict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.